our presentation up into two parts and I'll cover point part one, which we're gonna talk about the difference between personal PV and group PV and the binary system. And then Jess will, sh will cover how to order and send products to another person or another country. And then if we have time at the end, we'll take some questions and answers, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. So you're just new to Atomy and maybe you've never done any type of multi-level marketing before and you keep hearing this phrase PV tossed around, PV. What's PV? Well, Atomy products are each assigned a value in points. That's the point value. So for instance, if you buy a box of Hemohim for $92, you will get 54,600 PV point value. Our Atomy Absolute set has a point value of 130,000 and our <laughs> Hung Sam Dan, <laughs> our Korean red ginseng that still doesn't wanna flow off my tongue, but I take it every day. That's got a 40,000 uh, point value uh, to it. So that's just, Every single item, every single product we sell has a point value except for the marketing items. So any booklets, shopping bags, things like that for your business, those don't have a point value. But if you go into your um, the shopping mall, you'll be able to see when you click on every product, the point value that's assigned to every, every single item we sell. So what is point value used for? What's, what's the point of points? So point value is the basis on which they're gonna calculate any commission that you might earn. So if you are interested in doing a business, um, it's going to be important that you not only track your point value, but then we're gonna talk about group point value. All members that are signed up receive point value, whether they choose to do the business or not, it'll just be, it'll add up to your own personal ID as you order. And you can also receive point value for the sales from the members you introduced under you. So as you build your downline, as they buy products, you get the advantage of having those points float up to you, which is absolutely amazing that this company does that. And there's no limit to how much you can get. So it is pretty impressive. Next slide. So your PPV, your personal PV, so again, we show a box of Hemohim for 54,600 points. And then let's say you bought a box of vitamin C, which everybody should be taking our vitamin C. That's worth 7,800 PV. If you buy those two under your own member ID, you're going to get 64,400 points for that purchase. That's pretty cool. And by having your personal PV accumulate over time, that's what will help you um, go up in rank along with some other things. So, but this is a beginner's class. We just want you to understand that you can go ahead and um, add to this personal PV by buying products under your own member, uh, member ID number. So what's the difference between personal PV and group PV? We're gonna take a look at that. So personal PV is earned, like I said, when you purchase products under your own account. They never expire and it never resets to zero for as long as you keep your account active. How do you keep your account active? By buying one product a year. Even if it's a hand soap for $3.50, as long as you buy one product under your own ID every year, your account stays active and your point value, personal point value can accumulate. Group PV? Well, group PV is the point value generated by the consumers in both your groups. So we've alluded to it before. We'll talk about it a little bit more um, um, coming up here in a minute but this is what's called a binary system. You have a right side and a left side. So you sign people up under both sides. And if the bottom person on the list orders something, everybody above them, including you, gets the benefit of the PV of their order, which is amazing. If it's the third person down from you, then it goes three, two, one, and up to you. So it's the points that each line generates. They never expire 
but they will reset to zero when you qualify for a commission. So if you're um, qualifying for a commission for the $60 commission, you need 300 point value, 300,000 point value on your right side and your left side. And when you hit 300,000 on both sides, that's when you get your commission and that resets to zero, but your own personal PV never resets. Very generous of the company. So again, what's the binary system? Well, buy means two. And so our business is set up so that you've got you at the top and anybody that you sign up will go to your right and your left. And that's how you get paid commission is by continuing to sign people up under your left side and your right side. And as those people purchase, the PV will float up to you, all right? So binary means two-sided. From what I understand, there are some MLMs that almost look like spiders. They have you branch out so much. And I don't know how you can possibly pay attention or support people that are spread out that far and that thin. But having a binary system, it's easier to keep track of people and to support their business and to help them grow. And that's something that you'll learn as you move on into the intermediate class. So we've got our left group, and then we've got our right group. Okay, and you're at the top. Next slide. All right, so the point value generated by the consumers in both your group, your left group and your right group, that's your group PV. Group PVs don't expire like we had already said, but it will reset to zero when you make a commission. It's once your smaller group accumulates to 300,000. So most of us, when we start out, our left leg, our sponsor has already started. That's their right leg. So our left leg is frequently our strongest leg when it comes to points. So those could generate a million points in no time because it's going to be much longer. And you're trying to build your right. Well, even if you have a million points on the left, your right side has to hit 300,000 before you get your commission and then they both reset. That's the way the system's set up, but it's still a wonderful way because we don't have to, many companies at the end of the month, your points reset no matter how close you are to making your commission. This doesn't happen. Today's October 31st, I've got, I've got plenty of points on my left. I'm halfway to making my commission on my right that's not going to reset to zero tomorrow. It's going to stay exactly the way it is tomorrow. And I have more time now to get my right side up so that I can make my commission. Very good. So it is a team effort, you know, and um, we have different, we have different countries represented here. I'm not someone that has what you would call a multinational um, legs because uh, I don't know anybody really outside of the country. But even if they are outside of the country, again, if Jana on the left bought for 60,000 PV today, that 60,000 PV will go to Anne in Taiwan and it'll go to Gilbert in, is that the Philippine flag? It'll go up to Gilbert and then go up to you. Same thing on your right. You've got Luke in England. Um, 10,000 points, you've got Han in England, and then you've got Leah uh, in the United States, and those points will go up to you. So here you see the left side has 190,000 PV, and on your right side, you've got 40,000 group PV. So you keep working until you get 300,000 on each side, and then you'll get your commission. In order to get commission, and I know I'm gonna get this wrong, because I know there's a way to do it before you become an agent, but you need 300,000 PV um, and then you become an agent and that gives you the opportunity to start making commissions at that point, okay? So again, our, our binary system is a very fair system and it gives us the best shot at being successful. A lot of MLMs, the more I'm learning about them, 
their goal is not to make you successful. And I don't mean to, it's just not. And Han Gil Park, our CEO, has designed this particular system so that everybody has an equal chance at success. You just have to work and you have to get people signed up. You need to go ahead and groom them, mentor them, help them to understand the products and help them to understand the business if they want to go on in the business too. So that's the difference between personal PV, group PV, and that's the definition of our binary system here at Atomy. So at this point, I'm going to turn it over to Jess, and she's going to teach you how to order products for someone in another country. Jess? Thank you, Lynn. Thank you. Uh, okay. Let me go this here. All right. Good evening, everybody. Uh, good morning in the other side of the world, and good afternoon in between. Uh, welcome to our in our class again. I'm Jessica here based in um, Pennsylvania. So my part is, thank you, Lynn, for doing your part and I'm doing the part two, which is how to order Atomy products, different scenarios. So I, the first session of our class a couple of weeks ago, we were um, teaching how to order for yourself. So like how to send products to yourself and the experience, the wonderful Atomy products. This time you're, of course, you know, Atomy products speaks for itself. You wanna share it to others because yeah, you want them also to experience the wonderful products too. So now I'm gonna teach you how to kind of order um, products in some way that you could send it to other people. And also in the same way, how to also either um, give points to other people too um or to yourself whichever uh the case may be so we're going to do some case scenarios that way it will be easier and there's also two tips i'm going to share with you so the tips on how to do this change first step is change to the adding website of the country you are sending products to okay so if you're sending products to the philippines you have to change the website into the philippines Atomy website if you're sending uh, products to the Australia, you have to change the Atomy website to the Australian Atomy website. If you're sending to Canada, the Canadian Atomy website. So we will we'll show you in this case scenarios, okay? Uh, number two tip, um, log in into the account where you want the points to go. So if you want the points to go to you, then you log in under your ID. If you want the points go to your partner, your member, you talk to your partner and member for their ID and password. So you log in under their account. So again, two tips, change the, to the Adimo website of the country you are sending the products to. And number two tip, if you're gonna uh, think of where you're gonna put the points, is it on your, under your account or to your partner's account? So those are the only two things. Once you think of those two things, this will be very easy. Okay, so let's go to the case scenarios now and let's apply these tips. All right, first scenario, it's you, you're here in the United States and you have a good friend in Canada that you wanna um, send products to. You have a best friend that lives there and you wanna send products for her birthday. It's her birthday, yay, but she's not a member. So, um, and of course, in your personal um, points, it's only 275,000 points. So you're, you know, you're, you're okay. You could still get uh, commi commissions, but it's lower. You only, if you're, you hit 300,000, your left leg and your right leg, it's, uh, you could still earn commission, but it's only $20. But if you hit 300, you're gonna get $60. So put, put the points first on yourself so that you could, you know, get a better, um, you know, a higher commission, so to speak. So I become an agent. So 275,000. So we're gonna, what we're gonna do, we're gonna add points to ourselves. So, okay, remember the two rules or two tips. So how do you send products and know how to send your own points? So first let's do uh, logging in. So the first thing we're gonna do is log in. So where do we log in? Since we're putting the points to ourselves, we log in, well, Let's start first with a website. Type in 
for uniformity's sake, so everybody would remember, uh, I would start with just one address, which is theatomy.com slash US, which is the US website. And I'll show you how I switch to the different countries. So let's start off with the Atomy website, www.atomy.com slash US to go to the US website. So you see here is the USA Atomy website. And of course, click log in. And remember, we're giving the points to ourselves, you know, your person. So you're gonna log in onto your account. So log into your account, put in your ID number and your password, and then click log in. Okay, okay, that's the, uh, that's the first one. So tip number two, change to the Atomy website of the country you're sending products to. So you know you're under your account because your name will come up on the upper right corner right there and your ID. Okay, so whatever purchases or points associated with the purchases you have will go to your ID. So that's how will you know. So remember that. Okay, next step, important step. So since you're sending to your friend in Canada, what do we do next? So what do we do? We click on the upper right corner there. You, there's an arrow, uh, upside down arrow beside the name of the country. You click on that one and it will open up all the avail the Atomy websites on all the different countries. Uh, this is an old screen capture. So the other countries that are here, like UK and Kazakhstan will be already here by this time. But uh, this was my old, old um, screenshot. So anyways, you, what you're gonna do, you click on that arrow and it shows up all these boxes of where this country is. So where are we sending this product for this case scenario? We're sending it to Canada. So we, in order to switch from the USA website to Canadian website, you click on the country of choice. So, uh, there we go. Okay. So click on the country of choice. When you click on that one, now we have, you could see if you know if you're switched a different Atomy uh, country is the name has changed. Remember earlier it was US, now it's Canada. So we're all set. So remember points go to your name, to your account, products is gonna be sent to Canada, okay? To an address in Canada. So at this point you do your own shop. So you should, okay. So click on the shopping mall and then there's the categories. You click on the categories of what product you want to. Now, if you notice here, like different, you'll be noticing different countries have different products. So there might be some stuff in Canada that might may not be available here. Like for example, Mino knife, Echo zipper bag. They have some stuff that are available there, but there's also some, um, um, products that are not also available to them. Like for example, I think the mask, they don't have the mask, the, the, the marine ampule, I mean the marine mask is not there yet. So each country, and you'll notice this, there's some countries that have more than a, than a, than a different uh, products. So, okay, so you do your shopping, you know, click a category, click add to cart, and then it would all go to the shopping cart on the right, you know, just keep going with your shopping. And then when you're done with your shopping, click shopping cart. Okay, so either on the right side there, on the top part there of your screen or on the right side. Okay, so of course, this is the things that you're gonna be buying and sending to Canada to your friend. So I'll click order all, and then we're gonna go now to the purchase details. Okay, so again, just to make sure, you know, you get the points, make sure your name's there since you log in under your account. And of course, um, your center show up set here. And of course, the, choose your drop uh, drop down arrow for the date. Again, the date, there's, it would show up three dates, the day before, today's date, and tomorrow's date. Now, since today is Sunday, they don't compute it for, uh, this is for, the dates, by the way, is used for calculation of commission. So um, if you're, sometimes your sponsor would say, hey team, could you 
purchase, you know, for Friday's date or tomorrow's date, uh, they would simply ask that for like, you know, for the basis commission. So um, if, you know, there's no request, you could choose whatever. But it doesn't mean if you put it for tomorrow that your, your order will not be processed. Like it will be processed, but oh, well, tomorrow because it's today Sunday. So uh, again, uh, there's no um, people, people in the warehouse. So, but it doesn't mean that it won't be processed right away. It will give you an order number at the end of the transaction. And you know that it, you know, as soon as there's people in the warehouse, they'll be able to process your order. So anyway, choose a, a date, okay, and then of course, your date, your address would show up here since it's under your account. And you can just fill in your number there and your email. And of course, you are the sender. And remember, we're sending to our friend in Canada. So um, uh, obviously, this will be the default option, the new shipping address. So now we could type in our friend in Canada. So we're going to click, uh, we're going to enter her name and her phone number, her address in Canada. Okay, and then just scroll down a bit to the bottom of the page here, because you can't see the whole page. Okay, so put the zip code in Canada and then click continue. Okay, so again, it will let you review, make sure you know the shipping fee, the tax fee, uh, the tax that are, is associated with your products that you have purchased. And then just scroll down again to the bottom of the page, and then there will be your payment information now. So of course, if payment information, it, a lot of times here is more credit card since it's um, in a different country. So click, you know, the, the type of card that you have, Visa, MasterCard, or uh, I think those are the two um, mostly accepted. Uh, and then you put your name, the name where you and your credit card. And of course, the card number, the security cord, expiration date, and then uh, the address is the billing address is your address, which is yours. So that's the billing address associated with your credit card. So um, once this is filled out, you are ready to check out. So just click the box here that says, yes, I agree with all this information, meaning you're, you reviewed it and everything like that. And you click check out in order to process this. And so once you know it's processed because the order number would come up, okay, right here. Uh, so take note of that order number. So if you have any issues, it would be easy to kind of contact uh, the appropriate Atomy office. And then you'll know that your products, all these products will go to your friend in Canada, but the 16,750 points that you bought from the total of all your purchases, where would it go? We would, would go to you because you're the one that you logged in under your account. So now do you remember you were 275,000 before you purchased this product. Now you're 291,750, okay? So that's our first scenario, okay? We got a couple more. All right, let's practice again, that's two tips, okay? All right, second scenario. Give me a bowl. <laughs> second scenario here. All right. So you're an Atomy member here in the States. You have a partner in the Philippines um, who is an Atomy member. So uh, Gilbert, he just you just signed him up, but he's already signing up five members in a day. And he's really like, you know, really active. Uh, joining in um, Zoom meetings and, you know, participating. Um, and he's also purchasing already. Um, and you yourself already has 310,000 points. So you're already an agent. So, but Gilbert has only 10,000 points yet, but he's really active getting people to, you know, to, to get, become a member. So you want to reward him with points. So how are we going to send him? So what we're going to do, we want to reward him by sending him products and also give him the points for, for all the effort that he's doing. You know, you kind of, you know, want to, you know, reward him. So how do you send him the products and also give him the points? So remember our two rules or tip for uh, first to, uh, to you log in to the account where you want the points 
to go to. So in this case, we want to give it to Gilbert. So what do we do? We uh, uh, log in under his account. But in order to do that, we have to ask Gilbert. So, hey, Gilbert, you know, I'm your sponsor. Uh, I really appreciate that, you know, you're, I, I, uh, you know, you're, you're doing a lot of good job. Um, I want to give you the points for and also some products for, you know, for doing a wonderful job. So um, you talk to Gilbert and ask him for his um, password, because that way he will also get the, the, the points that you wanted to give him. So a lot of people take, yeah, sure, here, you know. So make sure you talk to that person that, you know, you want to reward the points to, and then uh, I'm pretty sure they're, they'll be amenable to sharing their password. So that's the first rule. Second rule, sending the products to which country? We're going to the Philippines. So uh, to do this, we have to change our website to the Atomy Philippines website. Okay, so let's do this. Case scenario number two. So we talked about that. So I'm just gonna show you a little bit background of our case scenario. Let's, this is you, you have 310,000 points. Here we have Gilbert on the left leg. He only had 10,000 points, but he already signed up a couple of people who are already buying a lot of stuff. Um, so we want to give him a little bit more points here. So um, to give him reward for all his good work. So again, just for uniformity, we're going to start off with just the first, you know, the US website, and then we'll just use that as a, a jumping point for other countries. Okay. So www.atomy.com slash US. Now you could go directly to the country's uh, website if you know the last two um, digits with regards to the country. So you, you could actually jump into the Philippines website directly if you type in www.atomy.com slash PH or to Canada, it will be slash CA, you know, but sometimes you can't remember all this uh, country you know, this last two digits. So I usually just go to my US website because that's I, that's I usually remember. And then when I'm in there, that's the time I change my country on the upper right side, which I'm gonna show you again. here. So again, for uniformity, we're gonna go to our US website and then here click log in and we're gonna log into where? We're gonna log in to Gilbert's account since he shared his account number. So your partner's account who's be getting the points. So here we go. We're gonna log into that, uh, his account number and password. And you'll know you're on, in his uh, website, why? Because right there on the upper right corner, Gilbert's name is showing up and his ID number is showing up too. But are we already in the Philippines website? Not yet, because look at here, we're still at the USA website because that's where we started. So you click, we have to change because we're sending him the products in this scenario. So we have to click the upper right corner, drop down arrow here, click on that one. And then which uh, Atomy website are we going to? We are going to the Philippines website. So right there, click Philippines, country of choice. And now what do you see? We're now under the Philippines Atomy website. And we're still under Gilbert's account. So we are ready to shop. So let's go shopping. So shop again, click add to cart. Whatever products you want, you know, in this scenario, you want to give to Gilbert. So add some more. And then once you're ready, everything's in there, click your shopping cart. Okay. And then click order all items. Okay. And now, Scroll down a bit to the bottom of the page. So we're gonna do the payment details. So this is the important ones, okay? So again, to review, we're sending points to Gilbert. So there we go, Gilbert's name, his center and ID is showing up and his address would show up here too. Again, choose the drop down arrow to choose your date. Uh, the mobile number, you could put your number there and your email address over here and your sender because you're the one sending products make sure your name is right here on the sender's name okay all right so as you can see you notice the canada canadian um payment information 
earlier, the screen is different. So each country will be look slightly different from one another, but the, the general idea is almost the same. So in the Philippines here, they actually have uh, options where you want to deliver to them or have them pick it up in an education center or a pickup center. The pickup center is only one uh, branch up in the, um, the main island um, over there. Uh, but the education center, there's different education centers all over the Philippines. So they could pick it up there for free if you don't want to pay for the delivery or you can have it delivered to them. So this is in the Philippines. Um, anyways, um, if you have any questions, you could always ask me about, you know, in the Philippines sec section, how to deliver or about the education center. So for this purpose, for this, um, this case scenario, we're just going to have it delivered directly to uh, Gilbert. So course recipient name, put in, uh, put in um, Gilbert's name there. Of course, make sure you choose the option delivery address. You want it delivered to Gilbert. And then his phone number is, uh, uh, is right here. Put his address there. Uh, and then, so make sure you uh, uh, ask Gilbert also for his um, uh, complete address. And also in the Philippines, because not everybody's house has a name, uh, I mean, a, 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 um, a number rather, or sometimes uh, the streets, it's not even like streets. It's like a, I don't know, rotunda or something like that. Like it's different. So sometimes we need uh, like a landmark. So we put here memo for delivery for the delivery to kind of like, like a description. Yellow house, third house, um, yellow gate beside a uh, you know convenience store. So that would help with the delivery. So that's uh, in the Philippines. So make sure, okay. The important thing is make sure you put his name, correct name and correct address. Okay, so remember, giving points to Gilbert, we're sending the products to Gilbert also. All right, so we're, we're on our way to send him this to process it. So scroll down, click continue, and then uh, again, review the things that you, has, uh, you just put in, and then uh, click deb, uh, credit or debit card here in the payment information. Because in the Philippines, you have an option to do deposit, but obviously we're not there. We're in another country. The only best bet you got is to pay under credit or debit card. So these are the, the different um, credit card companies that are accepted in the Philippines. Um, so Jess, Academy website. Yep. someone in the uh, chat said yes. that their partner in the Philippines is asking if Atomy has cash on delivery there. I don't think we do. Uh, no, they okay. don't have cash on delivery, unfortunately. You either um, do a bank deposit, like um, bank deposit or uh, bills payment uh, in the bank called PNB. And bank deposits only in uh, Banco de Oro. That's one of the, um, the banks there that they accept the bank deposit. So in, in Banco de Oro, uh, they do either, if you have a Banco de Oro or BDO, bank account they do have online banking now so you could do that but uh if that's if this is your own you're if you're the one you know paying for yourself then yeah if you had to you had to do that if you have a bank bdo account um and bills payment so yeah yep christina said that pnb bill payment or banco de oro over the counter deposit or uh you have online banking for bdo too that's the only uh, available ones for the Philippines. So, but since we are in this scenario, um, the person that's sending the products is a US based. And a lot of times, you know, we don't have a, a BDO account uh, in another, in that Philippines, unless you have, then this will be easier. But most of us from here in the US, we don't have a BDO account. So uh, I usually do use credit or debit card, okay? And I think it's not working. Okay, scroll down a bit so you can see the rest of the screen. And then, um, then we're ready for checking out. Once we get the, uh, if you notice, we didn't put in the credit card information yet here, unlike in Canada. Again, each country will have a different look in their website. The Philippines website is using a third-party payment system 
that would allow you to put in the credit card or debit card information. So we're gonna proceed. So click uh, uh, the box, yes, I agree, and then click check out now to go to the payment page. So click check out now, it will bring you to this page. This is the IPay88 that Atomy Philippines is using to help with the payment system. So it will now let you put in your name, uh, the name in your car credit card, of course, your credit card number, you enter your information, oops. And then um, right here, it would ask you the country, uh, the card issuing country. So if you obviously have, you're using your credit card here in the US, um, you change that to United States and the card issuing bank, uh, usually if it's not, it's the choices there, there are choices you could, you could choose. A lot of times American Express is already there because um, that's usually what I use. Um, but if it's a, a, from another bank, there's an other option and you could just type in the name of the bank on this box right here. So, and that would kind of make it, you know, easier for them because they can write all the banks uh, in that options there. And let's click this box here and let's click proceed. When you click proceed, it will do its kind of like processing and then this would come up. So you'll know if everything got processed because you will get an order nine uh, ID or order number. And of course, um, that means that they processed your order. So now we have uh, your products, you know, that you ordered is all going to Gilbert in the Philippines. And what about the 29,580 points we got for this purchase? Where is it going? Is it going to you or is it going to Gilbert? It's going to Gilbert. Okay, so now Gilbert was 10,000 10, points. Now he has 39,580 points. Okay, all right. So any questions so far on that case scenario? So giving out points to somebody else and also giving them products. All right, more scenarios, third case. All right. Oops. All right, scenario number three, okay. Again, you are an Atomy member in the United States and you have a cousin who lives in Singapore. He is not a member yet, but you want to send him Atomy products to try because you want, you know, you want him to, to experience it and also encourage, you know, encourage him to become a member. You wanna send him a couple of, of stuff. So you already have, remember earlier, you already have 310,000 points, personal points already. So do you, do you wanna still add points to yourself? Not necessarily, unless you wanna, you know, um, you know add more, if you're already, you, um, you wanna do that, but, um, Sometimes you might want to give it to another partner. Um, so they could have, you know, add up to your, accumulate to your group PVs, okay? So in this case, what we're gonna do, we're gonna send the products to our cousin in Singapore, and we're gonna drop the points to our partner who is like participating, you know, and doing a lot of things. So, uh, and signing up page, uh, like new um, members, okay? but we're not sending that uh, products to that member, we're sending it to our cousin. So now there's two different points, okay? So let's kind of give it a little background here first. Our lineage. So looking at our lineage, remember uh, earlier, this is you, this, you got Gilbert here and all his signups on the left leg. And then you have, you just sign up this new person, Leia. And Leia has been, you know, she's working on purchasing products, but she's also active. She's, you know, uh, sharing products, attending all meetings, and she's always in all the meetings and she's, you know, on her way to purchasing her own products too. So, but you wanna give her points already because she's, you know, really active in, um, in all the participation with Atomy activities. So what do you do? If you wanna give Leia the points for this purchase, we're gonna ask Leia for her password. So, hey, Leia, you know, I'm going to give you the points. I want to drop points to you. Are you willing to share your, your, your password? So Leia said, oh, yeah, sure. So good. We're all ready to give the points. Remember the rules. Um, 
log into the account of the person you're going to send the points to and then change to the country where you want to send the products to. So where are we sending the products to? We're sending it to our cousin, a non-member in Singapore. So, all right. Again, jumping point, we're going to start at the U.S. site. So who are we logging in? We're logging in under Leia's account. So Leia's account is this one and, and password. Okay, and click login. So are we in Leia's account right now? Yes, we are. We are now under Leia because the name of your partner will show up on the upper right corner. And again, her ID is on the upper right corner. All right, the second rule, we're sending the products to Singapore. Are we there in Singapore yet? Like a Singapore Atomy website? Not yet. What do we do? We click on the upper right corner and then the drop down box opens up. And then what country are we choosing? We're choosing Singapore right there. And then once you click on that one, are we there in the Singapore website now? Yes, we are. Because oh. now it's showing up on the upper right corner, the Singapore name uh, beside the Atomy. And of course, we have Leia is still right there. Okay. So, all right, then we have, um, after we have the Singapore um, website, it's ready. So we're all ready. Or once we got those two points, then change the name of the, uh, the country. Uh, and then it's under, and make sure that it's under your partner's name or whoever you're gonna drop points to, then we're ready for shop. So again, do your shopping, shop, shop, shop. And then, oh, oh my thing is not working. Okay, so add to cart, whatever products. And then once you're done shopping, you click the shopping cart. And I go to our payment because that's where we want to, you know, be concentrating. Okay, all right. Here's we go with our order information page. So again, we are dropping points to Leia. Okay, so Leia will be getting that. So his her name will show up right here. And then of course we put in the date. Leia's address will show up here. Uh, and then um, you put in your mobile uh, mobile number and your ad, uh, email address. Of course, where are we sending the products to? We're sending the products to our cousin in Singapore. So make sure you ask your cousin for his exact and his phone number too. Uh, so we could fill in this delivery information. So here's my cousin's name, his telephone number, um, the postal um, code in Singapore and his address where we're sending the products to, okay? Because he's a non-member, you know, he's, we're not using his uh, member account. We're sending him the products, but the points go to our partner. So fill in our information, the delivery address, and then, oops, why is it it's not doing? Scroll down. And again, in Singapore, it's a different look also. Again, unlike Canada or US, we have all this credit card box payment information here that you could put in. Um, they also use a different, like they use a different page and a different pay, uh, payment system too, just like the Philippines. So again, since we are here based in the US, you know, we can't do all this other stuff here, pay bank transfer pay now, because that's only applicable if you're uh, you are in the Singapore and you want to send products to another Singaporean uh, resident, then you can use this. So you click this one. This is the only way we could do it if you're another country, Visa and MasterCard only. And if you're going to buy in Singapore website, again, click, yes, I agree. And then click checkout and it will let you go to the payment page in Singapore. I did not catch that page when I did uh, send my, my cousin, my real cousin, some products. But eventually, once you go past that uh, processing in the payment page, you, you enter your credit card information there and everything else, and then click the processing or submit page, it will bring you to this page, which is the get your order has been successfully processed and you'll get a, again, a order number. So that's how you know that everything went through. Okay. And then just to confirm your uh, products, all these products, 
is going to go to, who is it going to? It's going to our cousin in Singapore. But where is this 27,000 points going to? Remember, we, we logged in at Leia's account. So Leia will get all this 27,000 points. And now from zero, she's now 27,000 PVs. So here's our, uh, back to our lineage. She got our 27,000. Okay. Um, I see that uh, somebody uh, has uh, put in a question in the chat, chat room. Let me just uh, finish this scenario, then we'll uh, answer the question, okay? Okay. All right. So scenario number four. Okay. Scenario number four, you are again an Atomy member uh, in the US, okay. And you want to order products to yourself, but you already have 310,000 points. So you want to drop down points to your partner below you. So you also benefit from it because you're, you're, you know, whatever points you drop down goes back to you as your group PVs. Okay. So you have a partner in Australia who lives over there. Um, and you want to award him with the points because he is also very active. He's, you know, doing a lot of like, uh, you know, like, parties that introduce Atomy. So you want to, you know, um, make sure he gets the points, uh, but you um, want the products for yourself. So you want to deliver to yourself because you want to, you're out of the laundry soap and you want to buy that, but you want to give your points to others. So how do we do this? Again, remember the two rules and two, two um, tips rather. So how do you drop points under his account? So let's go back to our lineage again. So this is you. You just uh, signed up on here from uh, Australia. And uh, again, he hasn't uh, ordered yet, but he's really active doing all these parties to introduce Atomy to his friends and all that stuff. So we're gonna give him some points. So of course you ask, so first rule, who are we dropping points to? We're dropping points to Han or giving points to Han. So in order to do that, we have to log into his account. But in order to do that, we have to get his uh, login information. So ask him for the login information if he, he's uh, okay to share it with you. And a lot of people do. So there you go. You got his password and ID. So we're gonna keep it in and we're gonna use it to log into our, um, to the website. So that's our yeah. first rule. The second rule is to, where are we sending the products to? We're sending it to ourselves. So do we need to change from the US website to a different country? We don't need to, because we're gonna send it to ourselves. Okay, so let's show this again, okay? So, there we go. All right, so type in again, www.atomy.com slash US. So, and then we're gonna log in to, which account? To our account of our partner. So let's type in his uh, account number there and click login. So as you can see, we have Han right here is in uh, his name over here. Okay, on the upper right corner. So all the points that we're getting from this purchase is going to Han, okay. So do we need the second, remember the two rules, log into the account of the partner or whoever you want to get the points to, and then change the country to wherever you want to send the products to. So do we need to change for this scenario? We're try, want to get our products to ourselves, shipped to ourselves. Do we need to change? We are living in the US. Do we need to change the country? No need to, because we're sending the products to a US address because that's where we are. Okay, because that's you want to send your products to yourself, but want to give the points to Han. So we don't need to change this because we're sending it to ourselves. So again, do your shopping. You add products to your uh, to your cart, and then when you're ready to check out, click the uh, shopping cart, and then order all items. Let's go to the payment information. So again, your points you know, to review. Points go to Han in Australia. His address shows up here because this is under his account. Then we choose the drop down arrow for the date. 
you put in your phone number here and your, your name because you're the sender and your email address. I'll, I always put my email address so if I, I have a copy of the order number and uh, the, the items that I order. So you have to click on this box. If it's a, if it in that country, it has a box like this, just click on that. So you will have a confirmation email. So shipping information. Again, in this scenario, who are we giving the um, products to? We're giving it to ourselves. We're shipping it to ourselves. So you just click ship new shipping address here. This, and then you put in your name because you want to have the products for yourself. You put your phone number, your address, okay? And then make sure everything's good. Slow, scroll down to the bottom of the page. Okay. okay, and then, excuse me, just verify everything. And then on the bottom most of, well, my thing is, okay. The most bottom part is, the payment information. So this is the UF site. So you could directly put in, you know, the, the MasterCard, you know, whatever card, Visa card, company, your credit card information here. And the billing address is obviously you because you're the one sending your products to yourself. So it will be same as the shipping address, which is your address. And it will automatically put in here. And then, um, so as, after you enter the payment details and your shipping address, I uh, mean your billing address, which is same as the shipping address, you could now click checkout now to process the order. And then again, you know, if your order has processed, if you have an order ID, and then again, where is this products all going to? It's going back, it's going back to you. It's being delivered to you here in the United States. But where is the 15,600 PV points going to? It's going to your partner in Australia. So he's going to be get awarded with the points. So that's how you do. And now Han has now 15,600 PVs. So those are case scenarios. Um, and here are like the direct um, addresses for the different countries. I think, again, I don't remember all of them. You could look it up, but the, what I was just teaching you just now was just the easiest way so that you don't have to memorize all of this. The last two um, country names in the website address. Okay, so again, change the, uh, uh, to the admin website of the country you're sending the products to, number one tip. Number two, log into the account where your points go to. Okay, so uh, let me see what was that question. Oops. Let's see here. The question was, can I order five prospective partners in the Philippines and give them each gift for 10,000 points? Each, each send them just one address to avail of the free shipment and built to me. Uh, no, yeah, no. We have to individually, um, Give each of them gifts worth and something points. While you yeah. were um, while you were yeah. teaching Christina, uh, uh, Jessica, I did ask Christina if she oh, okay. could answer his question. Okay, um, gotcha. And she she told her that no, they can't. Yeah, no. Yeah, I was just reading over it. I was yeah. Like, yeah, no, that's yeah, you can't. It's not an, an it's not an option. Okay, all right. All right, and that was it. How to those just remember those two things, and it will be easy for you to do. You know, and if, if it's a you know, I only did four scenarios. I'm pretty sure there's other scenarios too, but as long as you apply those two um, um, rules, you'll be able to do whatever case scenarios, like whatever cases, like you know, flip it upside down. As long as you use those two rules, you'll be able to go to go. Okay. All right. Any, Any other, other questions? questions? Yeah.